How's it going everybody and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to carry on from our last video where we took on Zamorak on day one. Uh, we didn't get the kill on day one and I spent far too much time in solo mode to uh, kind of throw it all away really. So today we are going to try and get better and we are going to try and get that kill. And uh, yeah, hopefully we will get it. So if this is the kind of content that you do enjoy, then do give the video a like, dislike it if you dislike it, and if you are new, then please do subscribe. We also have a Discord, so the link for that will be down in the description. And as usual, a very special thank you to my channel members, In It Yeah, Lady Evie, and Avian Prime. Thank you guys so much for the extra support on the channel. With all that being said, let's get into the video. Alright, so today we're going to be doing a little bit of a voiceover because I didn't have my mic set up when I did some recording, because... I kind of wasn't expecting for anything to happen. This was all pretty unexpected, and uh, honestly, this actually happened um, sort of between me uploading my last video and uh, it going live and stuff. I just wasn't expecting to for, for anything to happen. I was getting some background footage and uh, just kind of hoping for the best, really. But yeah, so like I said in my last video, I didn't really fully understand what was going on in this fight with the, the last two edicts that I would normally do. Uh, the order that I've been doing them in is 1, 3, 4, 5, 2, 6. And uh, yeah, I kind of know what the first four do. Um, basically, what happened was the first couple of runs that I did, um, or the first run that I did, should I say, uh, I had somebody on a Discord call with me explaining what uh, what what the edicts did and, um, and all that good stuff. Uh, but they had to leave halfway through the fight, and uh, so I never really found out what the last two do. Uh, which is fine, it's it, it's not too bad. Um, this is a pretty forgiving boss in my opinion, and I I don't know, it's okay. Like, this is normal mode, I'm not good at BVM. If I, if I can do this, um, I, I would say that pretty much anyone can, right? Uh, but yeah, you can kind of brute force this fight. It didn't seem too bad, um, or at least the last two. Uh, you will see, however, that I do start to panic because I kind of wasn't sure what I was doing, um, and I realized I was starting to run low on supplies, uh, which made me panic more and stuff. There's obviously a few stupid mistakes here and there or whatever, but, you know, like I said, th this is all part of the learning process. You know, it's... It, it's a way of making making sure that you get better and stuff. Um, I, I would 100% say that you know if you're someone like me that thinks that they cannot do <laughs> do end game content and stuff, um, just keep trying. Just absolutely keep you know smacking your face against that wall if you have to, uh, because at the end of the day, you know you're not gonna you're not gonna get there if you don't try. But yeah, this fight is actually a lot of fun. Um, this I found much more pleasant to do than uh, doing Zook. Zook, when that first came out, I literally have one kill at Zook. One normal mode kill at Zook. And, God, that genuinely made me want to quit the game. In fact, I actually took a long break uh, from the game because I hated it that much. Um, but this is actually a lot of fun. It's, like I said, pretty forgiving. Uh, the auto attacks of Zami don't do too much damage. Um, obviously, there's a few mechanics that, you know, if you're not doing correctly that you're gonna you're gonna have problems but um it's, it's actually a really fun fight and i i don't know i i really enjoyed it um i was definitely panicking towards the end like i said um mainly because i saw how little supplies i had left and stuff I, I i was just i was just panicking um but if i'd have just focused more and stuff i probably would have had had better um sort of a better experience with it um, but the th things that I did change to make sure that I did end up getting this kill was um, I did take some people's advice from uh, one of the other videos I had where I was asking people um, what I needed to upgrade and do all this other stuff. Um, I did try to get Biting 4 Mobile on my armor. Ugh, I hit that so many times that uh, uh, I missed that, should I say, so many times. I, I, basically got biting three and I just thought you know what biting three is it, it's not biting four but it's it's obviously better than nothing um somebody mentioned to get uh, p6 on my main hand which I went and I well actually I already had a p6 genocidal I don't think the genocidal means anything I'm pretty sure that's just for slayer stuff 
And uh, one of the big things I actually saw somebody say in a stream was um, to use Onyx Bolts. Now, I've never ever used Onyx Bolts, and they are really good. <laughs> they are really, really good uh, for survivability. Um, so, if you are struggling like I was, then I would 100% say use Onyx Bolts if you're using range, of course. Um, but yeah, they. they I don't think I would have got this kill if it wasn't for those, and yeah, I, I would 100% recommend getting them. So yeah, as somebody that genuinely didn't think they were going to manage to be able to do a solo kill at this boss, um, we managed to do it, uh, which is really, really cool. Uh, like I said, if, if you don't think you can, just keep keep trying. Uh, definitely take advantage of these free death weeks, because, you know, you don't have that stress of having that thing in the back of your head of going, I'm just going to lose money here. Um, definitely just keep going, keep trying, and you'll eventually get it. But yeah, after we had our first solo kill, um, I thought, you know what, now is the time to start going as a duo or in, in groups and stuff. Um, so I ended up going as a duo with in the air for a few kills, and uh, they were a lot, a lot of fun. They, it was a lot more fun to um, do the dungeon and stuff as a duo. Um, the dungeon obviously went a lot faster. That was the one problem I had as a solo, um, is that I'm not very good at clearing mobs and stuff quickly. And um, yeah, so th that was a much more pleasant experience. And uh, and I actually had a lot more fun um, through the dungeons doing doing it as a group. Um, the Marak itself uh, was kind of the same. It was a lot more fun as a duo. Um, it's kind of cool to do the mechanics separately and stuff like kind of doing the uh, going into the voidy bit to kill the wizard and stuff doing that uh, like alternating that and stuff it was kind of uh, made, made it different and it was kind of cool I don't know it was just I found this boss a lot more fun in a group um, but I wanted to make sure that I could do it as a solo before um, before feeling like I'm just being dragged through the content uh, even, even if it's super inefficient, I know personally to myself that I can actually go and solo this if I need to, um, which is a pretty good feeling. So, yeah. So, yeah, we didn't get too much loot from this. Uh, we got a couple of mil here and there. Uh, I think my solo kill, I re-rolled like a th three mil loot into like 1.4 or something stupid like that, uh, which is fine. At the end of the day, I'm, I'm not doing this really for money. Um, it's more just the achievement of being able to do it, um, and obviously, you know, on day one, um, or day two, I think it was that I actually got my solo kill. Um, you know, you, you want to go for those big drops, right? Uh, so anything that wasn't a drop, I was going to re-roll, and uh, yeah. Uh, and then with the duo kills, I think we got kind of just a couple of mil here and there. We we haven't had anything uh, had anything big yet, um, or at least not not with me. So. Uh, yeah, this, I don't know, this boss is a lot of fun. I had a really good time with it, and uh, like I said, I don't know, you know, I know people that are watching my PBM stuff, I have a lot of people say that they're at the same skill level as me and stuff. I, I, honestly, if you're struggling with this content, just just keep trying. Um, w try and work out something that works for you. Um, like I said, for me, it was changing certain things out, um, things like I said using the uh, the onyx bolts and making sure I had better perks and stuff um, and tried to actually use defensives <laughs> uh, that is the one thing that I am really terrible at doing is making sure that I use my defensives properly um, so yeah I don't know just keep trying take advantage of death weeks and stuff and uh, yeah you'll you'll eventually get there so yeah if we have a look at the uh, the, the log for the Zamorak we will see that we actually have only done those two two group kills and uh, we have done that very important solo kill. That genuinely was uh, the, the big achievement for this video. Um, like I said, this was actually the the day, basically the day of the uh, when the last video went live. It was kind of unexpected and um, I had already edited the other video and stuff and I didn't want to didn't want to leave it. So I thought, you know, what, I'll just do it for this video. Um, but yeah, like I keep saying, just keep trying if you're if you're struggling with it and stuff. Um, but I don't know. I'm not I'm not very good at giving advice for PBM because I'm just not very good at it. But uh, but yeah, 
I, I really enjoyed this boss, um, and I plan to do a lot more of it, so hopefully we'll get something soon and uh, be able to make a video with some good drops and stuff. But yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this. So if you did enjoy the video, then do give the video a like. Dislike it if you dislike it, and if you are new, then please do subscribe. And with that being said, I will catch you in the next one.